I used to have this manager who would always say, I'm this close to giving everything up and just becoming a stripper, as if she had the core strength to pole dance or the sales chops to funnel clients into the VIP room. There's a different flavor of this plan B fantasy where someone thinks that all they need to do to live off the land in pastoral solitude is sell their stuff and live in the woods. Most people with a productive garden out back are either rich enough to pay pros to build it or old enough to have learned slowly over dozens of growing seasons. It's taken me two years just to learn how to grow one good sweet potato. The good news is that most of that learning can happen in the background of everyday life. I put some sweet potato slips in a sub-irrigated planter and let it sit for half a year, watering it once every month or two, and changing little details in hopes of improving the outcome. Nobody says, one of these days I'm going to leave it all behind and just become an emergency neurosurgeon. But we're so far removed from a simple lifestyle that we talk about it like, hey, if our ancient ancestors could do it, how hard could running a homestead be? If you daydream about quitting your job one day to farm, stream, strip, sell nudes, or trade stocks, maybe let this be the year that you f*** around and find out if you can have any fun with it as a new hobby before fantasizing about it as a full-time hustle.